Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones. You're looking at live views of the Northrop Grumman CRS-15 cargo resupply mission as it approaches the International Space Station for capture and berthing this morning, February 22nd. Today's vehicle is named after Katherine Johnson, whose mathematic computing contributed to calculations for the flight path of America's first crewed space missions and moon landings. Katherine Johnson died on February 24, 2020 at the age of 101. Following a career of breaking barriers and helping others reach space, Katherine Johnson's namesake now orbiting the Earth as, it's, as it makes its way to the International Space Station. Cygnus has now reached the 250 meter hold point. Okay, station Cygnus has resumed approach. Cygnus has now reached the 30 meter hold point. As you can see from this view here, the station is approaching a sunrise. Again, the space station does orbit the Earth every 90 minutes, which means the crew members see a sunrise and a sunset every 45 minutes. Station Houston, Cygnus has resumed the approach to the capture point.
We just received confirmation that Cygnus has reached its capture point. The robotic arm is now in motion as it approaches Cygnus for capture. The arm is now over the pin, alignment looking good. Capture has been initiated. And the snares have closed, and we have confirmation that Cygnus was captured at 3.38 a.m. Central Time while it was flying 261 statute miles over Oman. And the final latches that connect Cygnus to the Canada Arm 2 have been secured. Capture is now complete. Station Space Ground 2, Cygnus capture is complete. Go for Cygnus post capture reconfiguration. Welcome to ISS, SS Kathleen Johnson, who signifies divergence for civilians and resilience to the human space program. Uh, copy all station and uh, good words, Suichi, great flying. And Houston, I'd also like to add congratulations to Northrop Grumman, to ESA, to JAXA, to NASA for the successful arrival and capture of the SS Catherine Johnson. Uh, you guys have kept the lifeline to station alive uh, during, uh, despite some very difficult challenges on the ground. And just like uh, Catherine Johnson helped enable human space flight during her time at NASA, uh, her namesake is continuing that today. Well done, everyone. And Hopper, we all appreciate that. And on behalf of everyone, thank you very much and uh, great words.